Shocker. I'm Ryan Priest. And I'm driver of the number 60 for RFK. Well, having the opportunity to, to come over, be teammates with Chris again, someone who, who I really enjoy being around. We have a lot of great times. From a teammate perspective, I can depend on, just like he can depend on me. And for RFK, it is very impressive. NASCAR fans, picture this. You've been grinding for years, hustling your way through NASCAR, but the winds keep slipping through your fingers. Sounds like Ryan Priest's life story, right? Well, not anymore. Brad Keselowski's co-owned team, RFK, K Racing just pulled a power move that's got everyone talking. The team just dropped a bombshell that they're adding a third car for 2025, with none other than Ryan Comeback Kid Priest. RFK Racing is throwing it back to the big leagues by adding a third full-time team in 2025, with Ryan Priest stepping into the number 60 Ford. Oh, and did we mention Kroger's hopping on board too? They're bringing the cash and snacks to make it all happen. But here's the real tea. Is Priest ready to prove he's more than a mid-pack guy? And can he finally snag that elusive Cup Series win? Will RFK's three-car squad shake up the playoff scene? RFK has been on a redemption arc lately, but can they handle three full-time teams? And what does Kroger's move mean for the competition? This isn't just a story about a driver or a sponsor. This is about more than just another car on the track. It's RFK's chance to make a statement. It's Priest's shot at glory. And it's a story of guts, growth, and a grocery store empire backing it all. So grab a soda, smash that like button, and let's dive in. You don't want to miss this ride. Let's set the stage. RFK Racing, aka Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing, is bringing back the number 60 car full-time. And in the driver's seat, Ryan Priest, the dude who's been grinding harder than a rookie at Martinsville. This guy's been in the cup for five out of the last six years, racking up 187 starts, four top fives, and 16 top tens. But hold up, no wins yet. That's right, zero. Goose egg. But don't sleep on Priest, y'all. This could be his breakout year. As per NASCAR, in a Zoom television, conference, RFK co-owner and driver Brad Keselowski said, Having a third team gives us another shot at the win on any given weekend. It's a great opportunity for us at RFK. Our goal is to be an elite organization, I would say a world-class organization. And to do that in NASCAR, you've got to win races. The more teams you have, the better that opportunity is to elevate all the programs. If you're as hyped as we are about NASCAR, make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for the latest NASCAR news and driver stories. Now let's get down to why Ryan Priest. RFK President Steve Newmark said it best. We're thrilled to formally and publicly announce our expansion plans and the next step in our evolution at RFK. Ryan Priest is who we identified from day one when discussing this third entry. And his young talent from the grassroots level all the way up to the Cup Series is something that excites us moving forward. They locked in on Priest because of his raw talent, the kind that comes straight out of grassroots racing. And Brad Keselowski? The man's putting his money where his mouth is. He believes Priest has the chops, and now he's got the car to prove it. And Brad Keselowski, showing confidence in Priest, said, My commitment is taking someone like Ryan and putting him in that spot where he can win in and with the right resources, with the right team around him and the right support structure. And that's what I see out of Ryan. He's got the talent, he's got the work ethic. And that's our commitment back to him, is to put him in the right situation with the right equipment, the right people, and the right infrastructure to be successful. And I think we can do just that. Meaning, they are handing him the keys to a rocket, and it's up to him to take off and prove his talent. Now, here's where it gets spicy. Kroger, yes, the same grocery giant that's been in NASCAR for over a decade, is jumping ship from JTG Doherty Racing to RFK. Kroger had previously sponsored JTG Doherty Racing from 2010 to 2024, supporting both Boucher and Priest during that time. And they're not just tagging along, they're sponsoring all three RFK cars. That's Brad Keselowski in the number six, Chris Boucher in the number 17, and now Ryan Priest in the number 60. The partnership with Kroger is a major boost for RFK Racing, as the supermarket chain's financial backing and brand activation will play a key role in the team's expansion. The deal provides much needed support for RFK's ambitious plans for the 2025 season. Think of all the brands Kroger's bringing. Coca-Cola, Kraft, Allegra, Cottonelle, yeah. Even your pit stop essentials are getting track time. They're stacking sponsors like they're building a Cup Series super team. But why do you think a huge brand like Kroger made the switch? Well, Kroger's VP put it simply, three drivers, more wins, more flexibility. It's marketing 101, y'all. Why sponsor one car when you can have three? But here's where it gets wild. Kroger didn't just stumble into RFK. 
The Geschichters, aka JTG Dougherty's power couple, played matchmaker. They handed Kroger over to RFK like a baton in a relay race. Talk about classy. Sure, JTG might be downsizing, but they made sure Kroger landed somewhere solid. Respect. All right, NASCAR fans, let's talk charters. The golden tickets to guarantee a spot in every race. RFK isn't just expanding. They're leasing a charter from Rick Ware Racing to make it happen. That means Ryan Priest is locked and loaded for all 36 cup races in 2025. No DNQs, no drama, just straight up racing. RFK's been on a roller coaster, man. Remember back in the day when they had five teams? Then they downsized, struggled, and almost faded into the background. But fast forward to 2024. Brad and Chris have been tearing it up. Six wins in the last three years. They've got the momentum, and now they're adding another bullet to the chamber with Priest. Brad's playoff run in 2024, Chris barely missing the cut but winning at Watkins Glen. This team's hungry, and they're not stopping anytime soon. But what does all this mean for Priest? For Priest, this is the ultimate redemption arc. Dude was at a crossroads. After SHR shut down, he was staring at an uncertain future. He even admitted he was thinking about packing it up and heading back to Connecticut. But then, RFK swooped in with the save. Priest said, It's an opportunity that I'm really eager and excited for. It's somewhere that these guys had speed last year. I mean, you look at how many weeks in a row that Brad and Chris Buescher finished top two or top three and had some extremely good stats and found victory lane. So for me, it's a great opportunity, one that's filled with pressure. But I think if you've looked at my career in those pressure type situations, I've succeeded. I'm grateful for the opportunity. No kidding, bro. You've got a sponsor like Kroger, a team on the rise, and two teammates who know how to win. The spotlight's on and the clock's ticking. So why should you care? Because this isn't just about one driver or one team. This is about RFK making a statement. They're back, baby. They've got the sponsor, the driver lineup, and the momentum to shake things up in 2025. And for Priest fans, this is your guy's shot at redemption. He's been the underdog, the journeyman, and now he's got a real chance to shine. With three cars in the mix, RFK's got a legit shot at putting all their drivers in the playoffs. Brad and Chris have already proven they can hang with the best. If Priest can step up and deliver, RFK could go from underdogs to top dogs in no time. Brad said it best. We're not just here to survive, we're here to win. And that's the vibe going into 2025. So what's next? The 2025 season kicks off with the clash at Bowman Gray Stadium in February, followed by the Daytona 500. Mark your calendars, stock up on snacks, and get ready to see if RFK can turn this three-car gamble into a championship run. So, what do you think, NASCAR Nation? Will Priest finally get that W? Can RFK make this three-car lineup work? And how hyped are y'all to see Kroger's branding on three different cars this season? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get this discussion rolling. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more interesting stories and updates from everything NASCAR. Do share this video with your friends. Until next time, keep the conversation going on Lucky Dog on Track.